Hey all, this is a video on some basics in using Flickr. And um, they recently changed their interface. A lot of people went crazy. Um, it was a big change, very difficult to get used to. I'm sure they'll change that interface again, as all social networking sites do often. So this video may not be quite applicable if you're watching it four months from now. But um, here is the digital scrapbooking layouts group uh, that I invite you to join. You can post any products uh, or any layouts with any products. And to upload, uh, before I show you how to upload on Flickr, I want to show you this desktop application I use uh, most often. It is Flickr Uploader. Um, U P L O A D R, and um, I, it's just installed on my computer. I open it up, and I can either uh, just drag photos from one of my folders in here, or I can click Add, and I can click my image to put it in there, and then just select the image so it has red around it. Now if I had multiple images I could hold down the control key and select them all. For instance um, if I'm trying to tag it a uh, set of photos from a certain vacation I could highlight them all and tag them all at once or if I'm trying to put them all into the same set I could do that. Um, or if I'm changing their title or giving them all all the same description, maybe from a vacation trip. Um, I could do that uh, by selecting them all. But basically, um, I put my description in there. I choose a set. I can look to uh, choose the privacy settings and uh, whatnot. You cannot uh, choose groups from here, but you can add them to groups after you upload them. So you just click upload and you go. I'm not going to do that because I don't need to do twice. Here in your browser, I'm going to click upload. And the same thing, you can drag them here or you can choose them. So I'm going to choose the one that I'm uploading. And over here is where you can add uh, things. Um, here's my description. Um, I could add a tag if I want. I could uh, add people. Um, you could actually tag people in um, these. So if you're uploading a layout uh, with a designer and you know that designer's on uh, Flickr or you are uploading one with one of my tutorials, you can tag me for that also. And um, you can add to sets. Sets uh, are uh, created by you. You create the sets and I have various sets uh, that I use often um, for this particular one. It is this Bible bits because I'm doing an arrow prayer. So I select it. It's got the check mark. I click done. You can select more than one if you want. Add to groups. These are groups that you join. Um, in this one I have a couple uh, Christian groups. Uh, so I would click that. I may only have one left because I've been leaving a lot of my groups because I had way too many. Um, so I have a lot from Missouri. So if it was a photo from Missouri, I'd add it to that. Here's the digital scrapbooking layout one. If I wanted to add it to that, I would click that. So see, I've got two groups. So you can do as many groups as you want and then click done. And uh, here is uh, your visibility that you can change and your copyright. And when you're done, you just click Upload. And click Upload. You see, I never do it this way. And whammo, there it is, just like that. Now I could click on my photo. and. Um, this is where the interface changed a little bit and freaked everybody out. <laughs> but if I scroll down, I can see it's in uh, this set and it's in this group. The other group, uh, the Christian group I put in, actually approves each photo. So it will show up in that one after um, I have, after they have approved it. 
So um, the set is groups of photos that I have created by topic, and this is a group that I put it in that I want people to see and find it. I generally don't add tags. I probably should. <coughs> tags help people find your photos. And let's say um, it's not in a group. So I'm going to click this, these three dots, and I'm going to choose Add to or Remove from Group. And then you simply choose one. Let's say I wanted to put it in Photoshop Elements, and oh, I changed my mind. I'm going to click it again, you know, and then you could scroll down and see that it's added or removed there. Uh, so if you don't, if you use Flickr Uploader. Um, you will have to come and add it to a group after it's uploaded in this manner. But you can see all the other things you can do. You can add a person um, to the photo uh, other than yourself. Um, for instance, let's pretend uh, that uh, Bernie uh, is in this photo or that she made some of the products because I'm an untagger. And I'm just going to start typing her name. And there it is. And just like that, she's tagged in that photo. And when you come down, you can see the people. Well, I don't really want her because she's not in that photo, so I am going to delete her. And she may have got notification from that, but she'll laugh at me when she watches this video. <laughs> and so um, uh, here is view all sizes. I'll, I'll show you that here in a bit. Uh, but you can go back in there and change anything from there. Here is the sharing button, which is important. Um, we want to click on the sharing button, that icon with the arrow, and you can sh click on this and share it that way. Um, sometimes I will tweet them. I don't generally put them on Facebook, but you can. And I don't generally use these two either, because I'm going to show you why here in a minute. But I will sometimes tweet the photo. Ah, well, I guess I'll use this one. You can grab a link. You can copy that um, just to send somebody directly to the photo. I rarely use that. What I use mostly is this HTML and BB code. And you, here is where you can ticket from uh, HTML or BB code. Now, HTML, I'm going to just click in here press control C I'm gonna to go to my blogger and I'm going to hit the HTML tab and hit paste and I'm gonna go back and there it is right in my blog post ready to post and or publish as easy as that um, if I'm going to be uh, adding it to um, well th I'll show you in a minute uh, a discussion in the group uh, thread, I'm going to need the HTML code um, also. If I am adding it to a forum, forums generally don't uh, generally have HTML codes turned off. They, you may have one that it, it is turned on, but in general they try to protect their sites from the bad guys um, that will come along and put bad HTML codes into their forum and cause everybody who reads their posts to, you know, have viruses or whatever. So most forums have HTML turned off, but another code that they use um, so that you can post into forums is BB code. And so you just tick the one for BB code, click out there to <coughs> highlight it all, press Control Z, C, blah, I'm going to go right into my gallery, click into my compose, not my gallery, my forum, click into my compose box, click uh, control V. I'm on a Windows, so I'm not sure what it is on a Mac. And there's my code, and I'm going to um, type something. This is a post for my tutorial video on how to use Flickr. I can't type. I'm going to hit post that and you're going to see right there. There it came in and you can see it and it's just as easy as that. Now if somebody else came along and they wanted to, to comment on this, uh, of course if they could kick, 
click on this, which takes them to the photo, or if they want to see my entire gallery, they could click on that, or they could click right on the photo, and you see it opened it up in a new tab, and they could come down here and add a comment, um, just like that. And so it's great because you can upload to uh, one place and then be able to post it in multiple forums if you want. Uh, in order to share your layouts and your credits will be right here where I put my little arrow prayer in the description <coughs> and you can preserve your credits in one place uh, rather than um, doing it in so many multiple places I've uploaded in one place and I could share it anywhere um, and I could put it in more than one digital scrapbooking group if I wanted to um, on Flickr. So speaking of groups, here it says communities, group list, and here mine happens to be at the top because I administer it. And down here is your discussions. So if I wanted to add a Father's Day layout like this one to this thread or another one if we're having a challenge or a scrap lift, this is where you would tick also the HTML code and you would come down and just post it right here. You would just paste it right here <laughs> and then hit post. And it would go in just like everyone else is figuring out here. And um, so it's as easy as that. It's pretty intuitive. Go back up um, to my, you can click on, if you add people as a contact, uh, actually before we do that let's explore this group a little bit more so you can come and just click on this photo here and scroll under here to comment <coughs> you can find other groups that you might want to join by seeing what other people have posted in the groups and uh, join those groups also mine's not the only one out there and you know click the arrows to scroll through and easily see the next ones you um, <coughs> can find recent discussions by clicking that way. Um, and then if you add people as your contact, um, you can just click on recent photos under your contacts and see uh, recent photos of everybody that you are have, it's like adding as a friend. You see what's on their stream. And then if you want to go to your own photo stream, you can just click here and um, go back to your other things. Um, here you can click on your sets. Here's the sets I've made um, for me. Like I did a take 12 in 2012 and I put all the photos in there. And I'm still going to make a book. Um, I have uh, anytime I go to an Illinois winery, I put photos there, and I have one for Missouri wineries. Um, I have one for my city, one for my Bible bits. There's my Missouri wineries. Um, this was a actual locations. I put all my layouts in one, but I'm actually going to change that. I'm actually going to go back and create a, layout, uh, a set for each year um, so that it matches what my organization is in um, on my folders on my EHD and I'm going to go back and upload all of my layouts to back them up so that is going to be changing anything I just put on my blog I stick here if I'm just using it to host oops actually here I actually have two for my blog this is just digital scrapbooking stuff and this is ramblings stuff so anyway you can create whatever you want in your sets so that you can go back and find your own photos of course here's stats so you can see how many people are viewing and watching and see my one I just uploaded already has two views and so so much to do in here um, so wonderful and um, if you have any questions certainly do ask I'll be able to help as best I can.